A school board in Ontario's York Region beefed up security at a meeting this week. They needed to. It, the school was voting on whether to fly pride flags at the schools next month. And the vote was accompanied by heavy security because at an earlier meeting last month, police had to be called in to deal with protesters. With us this morning is Kathy Abraham, president of the Ontario Public School Boards Association. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. So reports of public, uh, you know, of people, of protesters creating a scene at public board meetings seemingly becoming more common. Uh, there was another incident recently in Peel region as well when plans to name an education center after a black activist those were walked back. You served as the president of the OPSBA for five years. Mm -hmm. How did we get to this point where security and police are being called in? Well, first I want to just say that uh, this is, it's not like this has never happened before. Mm -hmm. I've been a trustee for 20 years and there have been other instances where um, we've had issues and concerns about about what's happening in our galleries. And uh, usually that's around um, closing schools, uh, not pandemic closure, that's a whole different issue. Mm -hmm. But you know, when we have to close schools because of programming reasons. Uh, so it's not unusual, it has happened before. Uh, the other thing I would say is that if it gets to the point where a school board is saying we can't have people in the gallery, it's that's not the first reaction. The first reaction is try to, uh, you know, get people to understand that when school board trustees are sitting at their table, we're doing work. And, and this is our place of work, and we're trying to get things done. We're making big decisions, lots of money. It's about the, the future of kids in our boards and in, mm -hmm. in our towns, and we're trying to get work done. And so if they've decided to, they've gotten to the point where you can't have people in the gallery, it means that we've not been able to get our work done. So the, the process of public consultation has been tried. This is a last resort. Last month's meeting of York Catholic District School Board had activists saying that they saw students scared and in tears, that was mm -hmm. their description, after members of the public voiced their opposition to the pride flag. So are we getting to the point where students and educators are having to weigh in and to weigh their safety against holy meetings? Well, you know, this is always an issue. We, we certainly don't want anybody in our board meetings to feel uh, unsafe in that way. Um, um, and it is unfortunate. It's unfortunate that we can't have a mature conversation the way you and I are right now mm -hmm. about differences of opinion. We, we, are, we can have differences of opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's really unfortunate, especially given that there are students at our, all school boards have students on them, mm -hmm. that, that they would get to that point. We, we don't want that. We want to be able to have uh, well-informed, mature conversations. And uh, school board meetings are not the only way that the public can contact their trustees. We are available by email. In fact, sitting in your room this morning waiting to come on, I answered an email from a constituent mm -hmm. uh, on my phone. We are available by email. We are available by phone. We are among the most accessible. Um, I, I was speaking with someone else about this issue earlier this week, and I said, you know, we are uh, working, and you can't do this in the legislature. I, I know in Ontario, if hmm. you were to sit in the gallery at the legislator, legislation and yell at the legislators the way that some folks have been doing at school board meetings, you would be escorted out. And if you didn't stop, there would be charges. We don't do that. We just say, please stop leave the room yeah. so that we can continue our work. And our conversations. Uh, Kathy Abraham, I want to thank you for joining well, thank us. Thank you so much. One. It's been in the news a lot. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.